the winter months are when we like to settle down and change our focus from adventure to repairs, projects, and upgrades. And if you live in an RV full-time, you know that these are endless. Today, we've landed ourselves at the Desert Trails RV Park in Tucson, Arizona. Considering that we boondock about 80% of the time, this RV park is a luxury for us with all the amenities that it has. We're super excited to have a heated pool, dog park, outdoor games galore, on-site laundry, hot showers, concerts, food trucks, access to 62 miles of desert trails in the Saguaro National Park, and so much more. This is the perfect place for us to get down to business. Wherever I go, I will always know everything I need is right here with me. It's time to let it all go. Good morning. Today's episode is a busy one. We have several full weeks ahead of us because it's project tackling time. Our ever-growing list of tasks during our two-month stay seems to be endless, but we're ready to hit it with full force. We're repairing the broken, upgrading the weak, installing the missing, improving, perfecting, all while filming and editing, because we have found that staying on top of maintenance is what keeps us moving forward. If you'd like to see the full length maintenance videos of our repairs and upgrades, be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our Maintenance Monday playlist. We add a new how-to project monthly. Oh, there it goes. See? <laughs> so we're gonna fix that today. Max Fan Deluxe. Did we ever stop and wonder why we let our love shine all through the night? Just you and me, babe, until the morning light. The morning light. That sound. Is the sound of our slide out topper awning rubbing against the slide itself. 
we have had this camper for five years now, I believe. And every single time it's windy, we get to listen to this. And it's super annoying. Today that ends. Nick and Ryan got the sunroof installed. Unfortunately, this new one doesn't have a light attached to it, so we no longer have a light in our bedroom, so we bought some fancy rope lights to put up, and that's what we're gonna do today. These ones have what seems like an endless amount of settings. They change all different colors. They're kind of neat, so we're gonna hang those around the underside of our cabinets and under the little shelf above our pillows, and hopefully that'll provide us with enough light So we got new bedroom lights and our new sunroofs installed and we're just waiting on our new duvet cover because our old one rotted away. We've pimped out our bedroom. Two thumbs up from that guy. So I just got an email from Starlink after two months. <laughs> Actually no, it's has it been two months? Before Christmas. Yeah. Jeez, it's been two months trying to set this thing up. So apparently there was a uh, email sent to the previous owner's inbox that he never responded to, and that's what we've been waiting on all this time. Things happen. But I'm excited because I just got this email. It's labeled Account Activation. And it reads, Hi, Nicholas. We are happy to inform you, you we have successfully created your new account. If you have any questions, Please don't hesitate to reach out. Ah, that means something. I don't know what it means, but it means something. <laughs> <laughs> I just got off the phone with uh, Starlink support, and they were very encouraging. Um, they, they did inform me that what I'm doing with the satellite and the RV is not its current intended purpose, but they are working very hard to... Uh, bring Starlink satellites to mobile applications like mine and we can still use it because they make Starlink uh, transferable to different addresses and they make that process very very easy assuming there's an open cell. That is what we're doing. We are not a mobile application of Starlink but we do move frequently so kind of the same thing but not really as far as they're concerned. We have locked down an address that is roughly 25 miles away from our current location um, as our service address and I am now attempting to connect to that address as far away as it is with the satellite so I don't know if it's gonna work if it does work it might be really slow um, but we're gonna be in this location for another month if everything goes according to plan and we would like to have this satellite connected unfortunately they have not activated this area yet so our only option to connect is 25 miles away. I'm gonna go through that process right now. It's all done on their app. It's super simple. Um, we'll see what happens. We've finished three or four projects. We probably have two or three on the works, but it's a hot one today, so we're gonna have a pool day. We had to move sites, and now we're right next to the pool, so it's just a short little walk for us. We're jumping in the pool. Here we go.
against the mat. <laughs> There's no way to lock it into place. <laughs> 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 okay, we're laid flat. <laughs> so out here in Tucson, January, a little, a little too cold for poolside, but now in February, we've got this beautiful mid 70 degree weather, and we've accomplished a lot of projects, so we're taking a half day off, hanging out by the pool, and trying to get our tan on. While there's several delicious rotating food trucks at the RV park that come several times a week, we cook nearly all of our meals at home to save some money. Tonight for dinner, I'm preparing a really simple meal of veggie tacos with some homemade guacamole to use up some older produce from our fridge. Since teamwork makes the dream work, I do the cooking and Nick gets dish duty. So I thought I'd give you guys an update on our beautiful Starlink satellite. Where we're at right now is I still can't connect to the address that I have 25 miles away. So we do not have connectivity right now, but because our uh, satellite is activated, we are paying $100 a month, whether we have internet or not. The only places that are having issues with connectivity are the Southern regions of the United States, specifically, you know, down here in Tucson, Arizona. If we were up in Phoenix, we'd be connected already. Uh, so it's working out. I'm excited and I'm looking forward to this summer. It's gonna be absolutely incredible and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Thank you for watching this episode. We really appreciate every view. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing so you'll never miss another episode. And we'll see you next Tuesday for another adventure. If you'd like to help support our channel, head on over to our Patreon page and buy us a mile. We'll see you next week. to work, mister. <laughs> <laughs> Are the hawks and the flies done interrupting us? Man alive. <laughs>